The power of patience. Perhaps it is one of the most powerful things that a human being can use in her or his daily life. Bushnell said the greatest power is often simple patience. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 14 it says, We urge you, brethren, admonish the unruly, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with everyone. You know, he's known as the inventor of bifocals and also the lightning rod. But one must also say that Benjamin Franklin was the co-inventor of America. He was one of the nation's most vocal founding fathers and one of its most successful publishers and one of its most creative scientists. And yet, Franklin observed this. Listen to Franklin in Franklin's own words about all the genius that he had, all the inventions, all the writing. He said, genius is nothing more than a greater aptitude for patience. Real genius can come in your life if you are patient enough for it to come and work through your mind. Often God will give you an idea, but it takes you a while to comprehend that idea. Often God will give us an idea, and we say, no, God, not us, and we repel that idea. We push it away. And then sometimes later, hopefully just days, but maybe weeks, maybe months, and if we're honest, sometimes years, we then say, yes, this was a great idea, and, and I could possibly do this with God's help. Genius is nothing more than a greater aptitude for patience. The master of many disciplines understood that patience pays. Ben Franklin knew this, and we must come to that point in higher mind when we too realize this, what was good for Ben Franklin is also good for you. Patience pays powerful dividends, especially when it means being patient with the people that you encounter in everyday life. People might be rude to you. They might say something to you that is, is not particularly particularly right, and you wonder, and you, as you stiffen your back, what is going on, and if you just step back for a moment and have patience with them, and realize that you can't possibly know what that person is dealing with in his or her life. So today, when you're tempted to respond angrily to the delays to the inconveniences, to the people that befall us. Be a little kinder and a little more patient than you have been in the past. What greater thing today to strive for than to rise up with God's help in your patience level? And when you do, I believe that God will smile. God will certainly smile through you and so will your friends and your neighbors when they, when they feel and experience the new patient you.